And first of all, just proving how much pre uh, preparation goes into this. How about a bit of pit stop practice by the Mugen guys in the back of the paddock earlier on today? That seconds count here. Here are the guys training for tyre stops in the final. Once again, here we go, in on its side. Left side first, not the quick release, it's just a quick push on. Oh, that was a bit slow. Turn it over, roll it out. And those fractions of seconds could be what wins the World Championship. World Championships, of course, means that we attract people from literally all parts of the globe. Trevor is up from New Zealand, representing the Kiwis and the uh, Federation from that part of the world. Uh, welcome to France. Thank you very much. How do you think the event has gone so far? The organisation has been brilliant. The people have been brilliant. We've enjoyed ourselves. The track itself, I like the track. It's fast, it's hard, it's very hard on engines. But the infield, with the amount of dirt it brings on, is a problem. The facilities are pretty good. But um, overall, I mean, helps when you get good weather. The standard of driving, I think, has been absolutely outstanding. All of the finals. The qualifying was good, but all of the finals, both on Friday and here on Saturday, we've had great races in every single one of them. Absolutely, the standard is top class. I mean, we're here to referee, and we don't have to do the job. Most of the time, we, the, the driving standard, the guys are moving over, they're taking the advice, we're saying, you know, fast the car behind you. They'll just wait till the car moves up and they move over. We now have a list of people who move over without even being told. And we just know, we don't even have to say anything. They are brilliant. They standard from late afternoon or even early afternoon yesterday, right through to today, just absolutely fantastic. Femke, Far Eastern Model Car Association. Um, what's the situation with you guys down there particularly at this scale is the one I always like to see a strong one eighth. I think it's important for the whole sport how's the the situation down there with with the one eighth uh, one eighth championships well different things like what happens with one eighth like championship Femca is a very uh, isolated and we're very spread we are taken 13 14 countries from all over from as far as Kuwait all the way to Japan and obviously New Zealand is where the further is down there. In fact, we call it Asia and we, we struggle to fit in that, within that, cap, well, within that uh, description anyway. But really it's strong in Japan, it's strong in Australia, it's beefing up in, um, in Singapore, in Indonesia, in Thailand. All those areas, they're growing. And especially now we have um, some pretty strong benefactors in that area and they are helping to grow the sport. But the, the thing is we've got, we've still got a problem with introducing new people to the sport because they come along, they see these things, they go, wow, aren't they great to watch? Do I want to race one? No, they're way too scary for me. <laughs> Is there a junior class? No. <laughs> so we, 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 we may have to look at peeling it back a little bit. I don't know how. We've got a big event coming up in uh, your jurisdiction in the next, what, year or so? We've got the next month, we've got the, this month, uh, we've got the Femme Cup off-road champs which is a test run dummy for the uh, world champs in Perth so if you like the off-road that's a great event great club a lot like this club great organization great people really know how to make the thing entertaining I'm a big fan of the off-road racing and that was my introduction into into RC for RC TV how's the plans going for the off-road world you'd have to speak to them but from what I'm gathering because for Perth for me is still a seven-hour trip yeah. I mean, we're a long way from anywhere. Any, when I jump on a plane, minimum it's four hours. So, but um, I went there, we did an event last year. We're doing another event this year. Last year was good, we learned a lot from it. We put a lot of planning in. This year they've rebuilt the facilities, they've rebuilt driver's stands and corporate boxes and things like that. They're really getting onto it. They are, you know, the event comes down to the locals. Mm -hmm. And it's the locals who run it, the locals will do the work, and they have done just a great job. They're getting there. 
I know you guys in New Zealand particularly, you love all of your sport and you've got great sportsmen in every uh, part of uh, the sporting world and for a small island you keep turning out some great sportsmen and I know there's a lot of rivalry between you and the, the Aussies but what I do know is it's about passion down there and, and Femke absolutely reflects that. Oh, the Aussies, I mean, the Aussies and RC, I mean, we've got two Aussies in the semi-finals. Yeah, semi-finals. And to see that, this is the first time ever. And that's only come about because we have controlled fuel, controlled tyres. Before we used to go to a World Champs, we'd be three seconds off the pace in a lap. Now these guys are right on there. We've got Jeff Hammond, Jesse Davis from Aussie, and they are just absolutely on fire. Slightly disappointed that uh, Luke Duthie didn't get further through? I'm very disappointed for Luke, because Luke had nothing but problems with his transponders, and uh, Luke never touched a car all the, um, for the entire time here. I'm, I'm amazed you actually know about him. But he won concourse, <laughs> and he got his picture taken with the Infinity Girls. I mean, that's a, that's a bit of a bonus. <laughs> But um, no, Luke had nothing but problems, and even even during the main his main races, his transponder failed on a couple of occasions, which showed him further down the board than what he was. Mm. So guys weren't moving over for him. Yeah. But um, he was right on the pace. He's within, uh, I think, if you look at his lap times, 0.3 of a second of the fastest guy. Now that's not bad for a guy from Taranaki in New Zealand. Three guys racing that club. They've got no competition. They ship across to Aussie on about once a year to go and get some competition. We've got three guys there of that calibre. They are pretty good. Trevor, thanks for talking to us. Keep spreading the good word down there with Femke and the rest no, of the guys. Keep, keep up the good work you guys are doing. We love it. And thanks, and thanks for the footage of the uh, incident. We managed to clear out that incident. <laughs> Due to your footage. Thanks very much. And what Trevor's talking about there was a little bit of controversy in uh, one of the uh, quarterfinals. And fortunately, you saw it and we saw it. And so did the officials. And we were able to play that back for them. So just proof once again that our Infinity RC Racing TV coverage, not just watched by you, but also taken on board by the officials as well. Plenty more action coming. Stay tuned to our Infinity coverage here from France. Here we are at the press conference for top qualifier and Super Bowl winner, Dario Balestri, first of all. Dario, congratulations, a perfect score. How difficult is this track? Uh, this track, it's really difficult for, for the drivers because uh, you don't have uh, one second for to breathe. So it's really difficult for the car, for the engine, but the most for the drivers. So. This was a great result for, for me, for myself. For, for, it's a present for, for all the guys working this car in these times, super fast. They bring a lot of improvement in the car. And then uh, this one, two, it's uh, amazing. It's like a history for this brand. So it's unbelievable. Congratulations on top qualifying over here. Now to Matsuzeke, nice to have you here. Congratulations you. on the uh, the win of Super Bowl. Man, you were happy. I saw you jumping around there. Yeah. That was that was so close. Thirteen thousandths yeah. of a second. Lots of pressure. Yes, pressure. But um, if you know, it's I, I I don't drive a long time. But if if lost, then go to semi final. It's I think many risk for me because. Uh, uh, my style is a too hard, too hard drive. It's so. Yeah, I'm happy, happy. How was it to be in the Super Bowl with? I reckon there was 500 people there. That's a thousand, thousand eyes looking at you, yeah. just you on the track. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah, a little bit pressure, but uh, you know, it's I'm, I'm believe me, then I can make a uh, fast time. Well, you did. It was excellent and it was great entertainment. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Final word to Dario here. Dario, it's been a, a huge investment in time and effort by Infinity. Uh, you guys have been down here for quite some time. Looks like it might pay off. You've got an hour. An hour round here. Is it possible to do an hour without making a mistake round here? Oh. Uh, this will be the point of the race. Uh, don't mistake. <laughs> but it, it's... Uh, necessary, absolutely no mistake. Car must be easy to drive. I also will change something now because the track is different than yesterday. So 
this would be the victory don't mistake and the tyres tyre wear tires. we haven't had to do any tyre changes so far we've seen people practicing tyre changes what do we think can we do 25 can we do 30 minutes and just do one tyre change I don't think so I don't think so we check now the tyres we use in 20 minutes but maybe we can try to change only the um, the right side mm -hmm. but it would be hard to drive the car in the fast corner so I don't know we need to check also because it would be super hard to, to change the tires, the rims are in the front are strong, so we will see. Best conditions we've had for driving all week, it was relatively cold this morning but nice and sunny, the wind's gone and I know the wind's been a big problem. Finally. Finally. Finally, <laughs> Finally yes. Yeah, my car was always good but without wind it's better for sure. Yeah. Good luck to both of you, congratulations so far. Top qualifier, Super Bowl winner. Ladies and gentlemen, they'll be starting one and two. Let's have your appreciation, please, for Dario and Matsuoka-san. Have a little round of applause, please. So that was the